And so what I'm trying to point out to the Prime Minister and to the Minister for Energy that uh, wind farms, OK, but they're intermittent, put some batteries with them and then you can't afford the power. And Dick said that only rich people like me he can afford to use renewables. So in effect, if you want to go renewables, you have to be wealthy. Peter Jackson. Now, please welcome the 46th president of the United States, Joe Biden. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. What did Trump do? Pockets of hardworking British families. Thank God we don't have to look at this cross-eyed Uber driver for much longer. That I would only care about Muslim issues. This is this. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Oh, put a sock in it. And now where did I put in that bloody remote? <laughs> That's more like it. Oh look, it's another white bloke wearing a dead kangaroo! It must be another one of those taxpayer funded who welcome to country! And that's gotta be one of the most impressive front bums I've ever seen! You'd better put on a hat, love! That white skin might get sunburned! Some of you are the wrong colour. Oh, stop being so damned racist! No! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know you want it! And by God, you gotta get it! Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts and lock up the kiddies! Because it's that time for Danger Dan's! Ha 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 ha! Oh, the weak! The poofters for Palestine have taken over the bloody country! And all this dickhead can do is play on his arsey! Phone. The cost of everything is going up. I don't know if I can take any more of this idiot running our country into the ground. <laughs> now get off the bloody phone and do some work for once in your pathetic life. Happy Nadoc week, everybody. I can barely contain my enthusiasm. It's nothing like another week of white person hating to bring the country together. I think I need to go back to spec savers because I can't see any black people. Were we the world's first agriculturalists? No. Did you know you were the wrong colour? Oh, stop picking on him, Noel. <laughs> Didn't you know that the Bruce is from the Scottish Highland the Indigenous First Nations tribe? How long did I have to wait? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm sick to the guts <laughs> with this country smoking propaganda. <laughs> Gee, what's all this smoke? It is a cost of living crisis. Oh, what's our hard-working Prime Minister up to now? Politicians, members of the media have glammed up for Canberra's Night of Nights, the annual midwinter ball. Oh, look, it's the annual gathering of dorks and ugly people. I guess the cost of living crisis doesn't exist anymore. Don't worry, pal. A $300 energy rebate is going to help you <laughs> eat your car. How much was your wife's dress? A <laughs> rodent mouth. <laughs> Don't worry, love. Just keep working your two jobs to keep the lights on and to pay for these 
shit-eating charlatans! A big night out! Full-blown cost-of-living crisis. Oh, Mr. Magoo has wheeled out his freeloading rent-a-girlfriend for another photo op. Oh, love, you've been working so hard. I thought I'd take you on another taxpayer-funded date. Fat bottom girls, you make the rockin' world go round. <laughs> Oh, and even Potato Head turned up! You could have given your wife some money to buy a decent dress! Yeah, you tight ass! And this cross-eyed dog is punching well above his weight! Why is Bill looking so goddamn happy? Oh, you disgusting, you filthy old creep! He's showing your daughter's tits off to the entire nation! I'd buy that for a dollar! You, you want to see something really scary? <laughs> I've just vomited in my mouth! What did I do to deserve this? I don't know. <laughs> now get this Botoxed bush pig the hell off my television! <laughs> Holy heifers! <laughs> Batman, how do you feed something like this during a cost of living <laughs> crisis? I don't know. <laughs> 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 What's going on here? The more jobs for the boys! No, 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 no. It was also a very important part of my personal life because it was here, just down around the corner at the cafe known as Aussies, that I met Simeon. <laughs> Nobody gives a stuff about Simeon or anything that comes out of that mouth that looks like an infected duck. Ass. Just got the leader. Oh no! He's crying again! What's he sucking about this time? Anthony Albanese has become emotional when speaking about alleged threats made against his family. A rare moment of vulnerability from the Prime Minister. Something that, um, is of concern. Um, a very direct Rich. Um, and, uh, yeah. Oh, pull yourself together, man! Oh, stop making a spectacle of yourself and stop playing the victim and just get back to work! Grow a backbone. There's no place for extremism in Australia. Except at Parliament House! <laughs> what in the hell are our federal police doing? They're taking another Smoko! From the river to the sea! She's fire now! Hold the bloody phone! And that looks like that tea towel wearing the pain in the ass senator! <laughs> the ongoing genocide in Gaza. Silence! I don't give a stuff about what's happening in Gaza! I don't know how to respond to that question without feeling offended or insulted. Oh, tough titties! Are you insufferable brat! That just because I'm a visibly Muslim woman, that I would only care about Muslim issues. Well, that appears to be the case, you dickhead! This is... this... <laughs> So what would you say then to blokes who say, look, I'm not violent, this is not my problem? What do you say to them? I think the really constructive thing that men can do... <laughs> Silence! <laughs> the constructive thing that men can do is not listen to a mean and nasty reptilian bully who knifes her own colleagues in the back. Now get your hideous looking horse head! The hell out of my sight! I have misled the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about housing, oh. Prime Minister! Hey everyone, I know you're busy. <laughs> yes we are, dickhead! We're trying to keep up with inflation! Not all of us get 
$700,000 a year for sitting on a shit can. I know, Skip. It's hard to watch. Oh, put your bloody phone down. Stop making videos of yourself and get back to work, you useless prick. <laughs> And you can stick your $300 up your ass. <laughs> Former Qantas CEO Alan Joyce might not get his $16 million bonus after all. According to The Australian this morning, Qantas has hired a high-profile consulting chief to question senior leaders on whether a series of bundles on Mr Joyce's watch will involve... And thank you to these magnificent bastards for your support. And if I've left anyone out, stop your whining and send me a message already. worth another look. And what do you reckon, Bill? So sway. <laughs> oh, this idiot is still on the phone. I guess inflation doesn't exist anymore. Even Peter Dutton knows his nuclear plan is <laughs> nuclear, <laughs> nuclear, <laughs> nuclear. It's fucking nuclear, you prick! Baby Otto. Baby Otto. That's just not fair. Bruce Springsteen! Bruce Springsteen! <laughs> <laughs> And we will continue to resist from the river to the sea. Cheaper electricity. <laughs> Get me the hell out of here, Peter Jackson.